So all in all, this is a fabulous place for your holiday here in Bali. At the back, we have your swimming pool just outside. Another angle on the back, another angle on your bathtub. And there's your beach area down on one side, a little seating area, and some local warungs offering snacks. And next along the line is a nice, fabulous looking place called the Beard. Bar at the back there. Okay. Just take some nice little seating areas here. Good morning from Bali, Indonesia. So today I'm here in Sonor and I'm on the street of Jalan Pantai Sindhu, which is the main street that leads down to Sindhu Beach here in Sonor. What I'm going to feature in today's video is a place called Villa Malhapala. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you a room type here at Villa Malhapala. They only have um, two room types, but one is double and one is a single room type. Otherwise, all of set rooms are the same standard. So we're going to show you a room type. We're going to take you a tour around the facility and then I'm going to come outside after we've shown you the facility and we're going to take you and show you what's in close proximity to Villa Malhapala so we'll show you the restaurants in the area the shops in the area we'll take you down and show you Sindhu Beach which is really really just a short walk from Villa Malhapala so you'll just get a general idea of whether this is a place for you to stay right here in Sonor so this is Villa Malhapala this is the entrance to it this is Pantai Sindhu. Sindhu Beach is literally just there, maybe 50 meters walk from here. And then heading up that way, we'll be going back up to Jalandanatoba and Sindhu Night Market is up that in, in that direction. So we'll take you around now. So just at the front, we have a water feature area, and there's the name Villa Malhapala parking also over on the far side and I'll just take you up and come up here so just on the left hand side here this is the main reception area hello good morning and then on the opposite side here we have the lounge seating area for guests for arriving Continuing on from the reception area, I'll take you out and show you the swimming pool. We have a big swimming pool area here. We have wooden sun lounges. There's no cushions on at the moment, but I'm sure they provide them. It's been raining heavy last night. This is an angle shot of the swimming pool from the opposite end, looking back at the reception area. Just across from the swimming pool area, we have the restaurant um, facility. So you have wooden tables, wooden chairs, soft cushion seating. I'll just take you inside the restaurant. Just as we step foot outside of the restaurant, we have a gym facility here. It's air conditioned also in here. front entrance to the hotel that's out to the front there so now we'll take you just from the reception area we'll take you over to the rooms so we're just talk, walking through the car park area now and then you 
have a beautiful area here with decoration on the wall. And just up there is a swimming pool. Wow, that's beautiful. And then just through this entrance here, we'll take you down to the rooms. We have all the rooms. There's 20 rooms here in total, 16 rooms a single bedroom and 4 rooms a double bedroom. And here's the room we're going to show you. Okay, so this is the entrance to a one bedroom villa here at Villa Malhapala. So we're room 104. I'll take you in through the doors. Okay, so as we walk in, there's your villa there at the back. You have your swimming pool just outside of your villa. Over on the far side there, you have a gazebo with, gazebo with soft cushion lounging area. And then here you have a wooden table, glass top, with soft cushion chairs. And over on the other side, you have a small two-seater sofa, two chairs. All soft cushion seating and a small coffee table. And over behind the dining table you have a little sink facility area with a working surface. Okay, so now we're going to give you a tour inside the villa. So it's a key act, it's a is it card activated? Yeah. It's card activation on the doors, so there's no need to worry about keys. As we walk in through the door, you have a big double bed, bedside cabinets, bedside lighting on both sides. You have a footstool at the base of the bed. And then on the opposite side of the bed, you have a desk facility area over on the left hand side. You have your TV in the middle and then you have another area on the right hand side. So the television is satellite television. Wi-Fi is also provided. So let's just give you a closer look here. So here you're provided with cups, aqua, tea, coffee. Also a kettle is provided. Just underneath the kettle you have a compartment here, your refrigerator is hidden. I'm just moving on from your wardrobe, there's your television. Looks as though sandals are provided down below there. And there you have a desk facility area with a lamp. And thus just by the side of your desk you have some uh, roller blinds which are pretty sure open up and that's your window. And just by the side, on the opposite side of the bed, you have a sofa with soft cushion seating. Beautiful decoration on the wall there. And just up above that section, you have your air conditioning. There's another angle on the bed. And then if we walk behind here, you have a wardrobe. Just continuing on from the sofa, you have a wardrobe there in the back. It's a double wardrobe a little bench seating area you have another wardrobe on the other side and just around at the back here you have your twin sinks lighting on both sides and a huge mirror so all of your toiletries are provided with the Malhapala Villa Malhapala logo on nice face towels also aqua sink Here's your other wardrobe. So inside your wardrobe you have a small rail, metal rail with wooden coat hangers. You have a safety deposit box. And just opposite your sinks in the mirror area you have a huge bathtub. It's got a handheld shower in the bathtub also. Provided with some complimentary um, toiletries again. Bubble bath, shampoo, shower gel, conditioner. On the far side you have your toilet, you have a laundry basket, another angle on your bathtub and then you have a glass um, outside door to your shower facility area. So it has a rain shower and a handheld shower. The shower is outside open to the elements. 
Okay, so we've finished a room tour here at Villa Malhapala. Now what makes sense is because this is just literally located right next to Sindhu beaches, we'll take you down to the beach first and then we'll show you what's available on the street. So just as you come out of Villa Malhapala, we're just gonna turn right and head down in this direction and you're almost literally on the beach. It's so close to the beach. Just walking past the Inner Sinner Beach Hotel and Resort now on the right hand side. And then just the first one on your left hand side here is Le Hutu's Coffee Shop. There's the inside of Le Hutu's. Beautiful nice cakes and things and pastries available in here. Just on the opposite side of the Hutus, you have a little market section um, selling clothes and all tourist goods and you have another shop here on the left hand side. You have a motorbike parking area also here, 2000s, Indonesian rupee. So you have a few market stalls here and then you have a Sindhu turtle conservation. As you come down, that's the sign you're going to see, Pantai Sindhu. So many people riding these bikes on this great pathway here now, it's um, some more. Here's your turtle con conservation. And then if you go inside there, you're going to see all the turtles. We've got them all in all of these areas here, and then you put your donation in the box. Just up from the turtle conservation, you have a little seating area and some local warungs offering snacks and food, simple foods, all at local prices. And then just out here, you have your promenade walking into the ocean, and there's your beach area down on one side at Sindhu. And then you have another section over this side with the fishing boats in the distance in the ocean. Just along the back here you have many options for renting manual pedal power bikes and also you've got um, electric bikes. Electric bikes are 50,000, usually the med um, pedal power bikes are 30 to 40,000. Just many, many options for you. All are covered because it's been raining heavy last night and a little bit now. And just keep walk, walking and then there's Lahutu's restaurant, a little section here also. And then they have an outside seating area here on the beach. <laughs> Just at the back you have many Warung, Panti Sindhu, Sanor. Another seating area out here on the beach. Just a few local little shops at the back there. And we have Tootsie Bar and Restaurant. Just take you inside and just show you Tootsie. So oh, there's the inside of the restaurant here at Tootsie. Along the line is a nice, fabulous looking place called the Beard. So, I'll just take it around and show you inside here. It has an outside seating facility area on that side, which we'll show you in a minute, and also a, another area over here. So, it's the Beard House. Walk along here. Comfortable seating, unique area outside. And then we'll just go up here, just turn you inside and show you around. Beautiful little seating area outside of the um, inside complex. And here's the seating area here. The bar at the back there. Comfortable seating all around here. <laughs> Just in the back here, you have a huge swimming pool area. So, this is 
from the balcony of your sat in turn at the Beard, Beard House. And this is a close up look view at the um, outside seating area just on the beach. Really nice comfortable seating area. That's a look at the Beard complex from the back here. Okay, so we've taken you down to Sindhu Beach now, so I'm back outside the Villa Malha Palace. So it's just a short walk down to Sindhu Beach. You've got some great um, eating options down there, um, particularly the Birdhouse, which is a nice, fancy, luxurious place. Um, and then you've got all the local rungs also. Um, so all in all, that's a great area for you to go and eat. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take you up the street, heading along Jalampantai Sindhu, all the way up to the main street of Jalan Danutoba. So we're back at the Mal Villa Malhapala now, we've just been down to Sindhu Beach down there and now we're going to turn left and walk up to the main street of Jalan Danatoba. First place you're going to come to is a place called Warung Sports. It's got quite a few customers in there now so we won't disturb them. I just continue walking up in this direction. Oh, look at this funky tuk tuk. So the Aquarius Hotel is on that side, which I've already done in another video. And the next place is Shotgun Social. Inside and show you shop one social. There's some nice little seating areas here. tables and chairs and then you have this beautiful artificial grass seating area outside carrying on up the street from shotgun social have another kayangan hotel across on the other side of the street oca divers which i presume is some kind of diving company a little authorised money changer there but I'm not sure it's open and then you have some little shops here on the right hand side selling your tourist souvenirs seem to be closed today and it's Sunday and then the next place is a place called Orange just take one show you the name so you know the name and this is the inside of the restaurant it's got beautiful bamboo decoration on the wall with the sun behind. Have some wooden tables, wooden chairs with soft cushion seating. At the back there you have bench style seating with soft cushions. Have a huge TV on the back wall. A nice bar area in the back. Just across the road from RNJ you have PJ's Tattoo Studio. We just continue walking up the street. Have a place called cold pressed juice across on the other side. So this is a place if you're looking for your fresh juices, very simple place, very nice. Just on the other side again, going back to the side we've just come from, is a place called Tisna Kitchen. Some bench style seating. Sitting, simple seating by the roadside, wooden table, chairs. Right next door to Tishna Kitchen, you have another local place for a local run called Raka Ray. I'll just take you around and show you inside here. road now and then you have a place called Lily Spa here you want your massage you 
have a barber shop on the other side of the road there you will need a haircut and then we're at the end of the street now so we're just right on the corner of Jalan Pante um, Sindhu and Jalan Pante uh, Jalan um, Danatoba you have Warung called Warung Benning Pantis you have more Warungs over the street there in that direction and this is Jalan Danatoba you have Jimmy's Sports Bar across the street there, heading down in this direction, it'll be Sindhu Night Market. Okay, so that concludes my tour of the Villa Malhapala. Um, what can I say? Absolutely fabulous location here um, on Jalampantai Sindhu, right next to uh, Sindhu Beach, only 50 meters. This is a fabulous location, it really is. Um, you've got so many restaurant options available on the beach, on the street of Jalampantai Sindhu. If you just walk up to the top there and Jalandanatoba and cut across the street, you've also got many more coffee shop and restaurant options. So all in all, this is a fabulous place for your holiday here in Bali so I'll finish this video here now glad to share Villa Malhapala with you hope some of you find this video of some use to you maybe this is a place for your holiday here in Bali and I shall say bye for now